Hey guys, it's Nate from Driven by Diamond here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add lip animations to your custom songs of the Singing Settler mod. For those of you who do not know what the Singing Settler mod is, it allows you to build microphones and other singing related objects. You can then assign a settler to the object and they will sing songs similar to Magnolia and the Third Rail. They will sing all the songs from Diamond City Radio. The females will sing the female songs, the males will sing the male songs. The mod also allows you to add up to 10 custom songs and that's why we are here because the songs do not come with lip animations so we're going to add them to it. Enough about that, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need your songs that you want to put in there. So I have a couple by my favorite artist right here. Then you're going to need a way to convert them to a WAV format, which is what Fallout 4 uses. Just Google MP3 to WAV and you'll find a converter. This is what I used. I'll probably put a link into it into the description. I'm going to drag the song that you want to convert over to the choose file button. Don't mess with any of this stuff, it's all fine. Convert your file. This is going to take a couple seconds and then it will download your song. Once it's finished downloading, go into your downloads folder, grab it, put it in here. I like to keep things organized so I have a second folder for that. Now the next step is optional. If you want a slightly better result you can do this. If you're not too worried about it and you just want their lips to move then you can skip ahead. So for this next part you're going to need a program like Audacity. The lip animation generator has trouble distinguishing between vocals and instruments. Especially with things that are metal like Sabaton it's going to have a harder time as opposed to things like Johnny Cash. So what you want to do is take your original mp3 put it into here and then using the effect, you want to go to Vocal Reduction and Isolation. Make sure this is selected to Isolate Vocals. Click OK. That's going to isolate the vocals, remove some of the instruments. And this is going to make it sound like crap. But wait, it's not going to in-game. All this does, this sort of highlights the vocals a bit more over the instruments. And just export your audio. Leave Ghost Division. Again, save. OK. Now take that and convert it again because this is an MP3 and you need this in Wave as well. OK, once the second converted file is downloaded, just go to your downloads. I have a second folder inside my wave folder called vocals from the modified, the Audacity modified files. Now go to the singing settler page on the Fallout Nexus and find the file name of the custom song you want to use. So I'm going to be using custom song 3. I'm going to control C. You're going to want to rename both the files. To that name. Once you've done that, go to your Fallout 4 folder, the main install folder, go to data, sounds, voice, aka singer, this magnolia file, and drag the modified one. If you're doing the extra steps, drag the, mod the, uh, the Audacity modified one into here. If you're not, just drag this one, the converted one in there. But since we're doing the extra step, we're going to drag the one that's been modified by Audacity. Now go back to your main Fallout folder and open up the Creation Kit 32. If you don't see it in here, don't panic. Go to your Tools, Lip Gen, and copy and paste the Creation Kit along with these DLLs into the main install folder. Although you have to download the creation kit through the Bethesda launcher first to even get that there. Now launch your creation kit. Give it a second or 30 to load. 
Got this folder thing. Find the AKA singer.esp. Double click. Set as active file. Okay. Now, once this is loaded up, come over to your object window. Select the quests. Type in AKA singer quest. And if the custom song is for female, click on AKA song F. If it's for male, click on AKA song M. Scroll over and scroll down. Now here you can even rename the song. So double click on this. Highlight the custom song three. Click on that. It's gonna bring up a window similar. Click on the, the dots there. You're gonna bring up a similar window and here you can actually create the lip animations and the song name. So I'm gonna type in ghost division, name of the song. From here on the right hand side, you're gonna select generate lip file from wave. Here's the voice file name, it's already in there. And you just click on generate lip file, it takes three to five seconds to generate that, maybe a little bit longer. There you go, and you're done. Hit okay, 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 apply, okay. And now you're done. Although, if you choose to do the extra step, you're not. You need to go back into your Fallout 4 folder, go to your data, sound, voice, aka singer, and magnolia. Now grab your converted one that has not been modified by Audacity. If you didn't do the extra step, don't even worry about this, you're ready to launch. Drag and drop in here and replace it. And now you are ready to launch your Fallout 4. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Custom lip animations for the custom songs in the Singing Southern Mod. Hope you enjoyed the first tutorial I've ever made. Hopefully it was not too shite. I don't think it was. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and share my videos with your friends. Stay awesome. Have a great day, people.